Hello everybody, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today we're going to be going into the Universe 6 stage of Super Battle Roll. Now, I've heard this stage was very, very, very easy and it makes definite sense with how immensely powerful the Universe 6 team is. Universe 6 is just an insane category even with how limited it is. Uh, we're going to be going over the units I chose, of course. I actually decided to leave off LR Count and Khalifa. They're probably going to be very, very, very good in here. But for the sake of the showcase, I feel like I want to go ahead and show off the other units that are a little new to Global. Uh, specifically since the Universe 6, eight, the Universe 6 units are out right now. Um, you know, we got the new, you guys got the new Awakenings, the Easy Ace for this physical... For this physical KO and the AGL Khalifa are coming up soon. Battles is new. Kefla is new. These two are going to be new as well. There's even these free-to-play units. is pretty good. So, yeah. Let's go over uh, the actual category options. As you see, there's not too many. But I'll let you know what we, you could use. Of course, LR Crow and Khalifa. Um, they're very good. They can get dodge chance. They stack defense. Very nice. If there's pure Saiyans or Universe Survival Saga enemies in the stage. Which, judging from the Universe 7 stage, I pretty much expect that, honestly. Um, that's going to be very nice. Uh, they'll get their additional super attacks and they'll be able to stack their uh, dodge more, which is very nice. Uh, this Super Saiyan 2 Kale, uh, Khalifa, my fault. She's actually really good. She stacks her defense by 30%, I mean by 60% for 3 turns. She has a 12,000 defensive stat. She has a high chance to dodge. 120% attack at the start of turn, 60% defense, and if there's a KO on rotation, she does. She is super effective. Along with that, she has a medium chance to counter super attacks. Very strong unit, definitely. You could technically run this battle. She's free to play. She lowers attack. She doesn't dodge and pass it. No, she does have a, I believe, a um, high chance to dodge. She does support Universe 6 allies as well, so she's a decent option if you want to run. Ew. Don't run him, unfortunately. He would be a good option if he had defense, but he doesn't have defense, so... It, it's... Unfortunately, he's not that good. Now, this Khalifa, she's very good. If there are Universe uh, Survival Saga enemies or you know, pre stains enemies, she guaranteed dodges, so that's very nice. She stacks defense as well. But even if not, I believe she can get up to, like, almost a, like, like an 80-something percent chance to dodge <laughs> per if there's you know uh i believe it's pure no it's universe six of prepping gals unit on the team so since it's all universe six and prepping gals she's gonna have the full passive which is insane i believe that also i think that the reason why it's so high is because it stacks as well like it's both categories so if they're in both they're it stacks which is insane um also if there's a kill on rotation she performs an additional attack which i believe has a medium chance of becoming a super attack and these guys are mad. They're not too good. They're okay. They're decent. They get 15% attack and defense per universe 6 category allies. And they give them the mechanic category 1 key and 30% attack and defense, I believe. Which, I mean, that's not bad. I, I never rambled them or farmed them up or anything. But actually, it's a pretty decent option, I'd say, from looking at them again. They, I believe, raise their allies attack by 20% um, super attack, which is not really that impressive. Tech hit. You can run tech hit as a leader if you don't have, obviously, LR Kale. Uh, Kefla, I mean, you can run him as a leader. He can stun. He can lower attack. No defense hurts him a lot. So in these hard modes. Oh, by the way, I am using Uni Dokkan and have the backgrounds off, like the diamond backgrounds off, and cards look so good. <laughs> um, see, so yeah, that's the thing I have to think about. I would say she's a better leader. People aren't thinking about it, but she is a leader for Universe Six, three K and one twenty percent stats. So you could technically run double her, and she might even be better than double Kefla since if there's Universe Six or there's USS or Pure Saiyan's enemies because he'll, she'll dodge everything, man. <laughs> it's, it's disgusting. This Kefla, this Kale is good. I keep messing up with their names. Damn. Um, she gets 50% attack and def 50% defense if there's another Khalifa rotation. She supports the Universe Survival Saga category of 2 key, 30%. And again, when the Khalifa is on rotation, she'll give another 10% attack and defense and 1 key. In hit, no. Um, no, of course. We all know how insane this beast is, especially in Yunnan Global. She supports the team by 17% stats overall. She does, I believe, stack attack and she lowers defense, so that's not bad. Um, if you get her the orb, she could dodge for sure. She gets 100% defense at the start of turn, solid. She gets 100% attack when performing a super attack. And, you know, all around, just like a very good unit. And when she transforms to Super Saiyan, it's the same thing, basically. 150% for the attack and 150% for the attack at the start of turn. Does 
And then both times when she gets six orbs, she gets 50% attack and a high chance to dodge. You won't really see Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. Your card looks awesome, by the way. You won't really see Super Saiyan 2 Kefla because you usually wouldn't really get five turns. Well, maybe in this Super Battle Road stage, since they have more HP, you will be able to see these this every once in a while. And if you get her active skills, she'll be insane. This Kale, she guards when there's a Cleave Thought rotation. She gets up to triple super attacks based on Pure Saiyan or Universe Survival Saga category enemy on the field. She does, she's not the best leader for this, but she does do Pure Saiyans as much 20%, so you can run her as well. She gets 80% attack and defense return. She gets more attack and defense based off of, I believe it's Pure Saiyan and Peppy Gal's category allies. You do also have the Universe 6 equip event as well, so that's very nice. Frost is decent. He gets attack and defense on super attack. And I believe it's for one's key six or more. Or is it for six turns? Something like that. I think it's one's key six or more. He gets three key. He gets one turn percent attack and defense. And then. Oh no, when for six turns, I think he gets three key. And then the rest of his passive. He could also stun, which is cool, but nothing too special. This Khalifa is actually very good, very underrated. Um, I don't want to drag this on for too long, but she can dodge, a, she can get a very high chance to dodge. She can get extra attack and defense per Universe Survival Saga category ally on the team, up to 80% attack and defense, and then up to a 60% chance, 60% chance to dodge. When there's a Khalifa on rotation, uh, she gets an extra 50% attack. So, not bad at all. Don't run him. She's Oxy. <clears throat> I'm running her for sure. She gets 160% uh, attack from the start of turn. For 6 turns, she reduces damage by 60%. And, um, basically, she also can triple super too. She does not stack anything, but she's very good. 70k attack stat. She does immense damage. Very, very powerful units. Um, Kefla, I would say she's a good option as well. She could dodge, she creates orbs. She does require those orbs, and if she doesn't dodge, she'll get hit very hard. She doesn't really hit hard either, personally, for money user, even if when you give her a butt-ton of orbs, because she only has 14k attack. I would also believe I gave her equips. Yeah, see, even... I gave her a level 5 attack and a level 2 attack. This gives 400, this gives 500, so that's almost an extra 1,000 attack. And so without that extra 1,000 attack, basically, she would be at 13 point like 8k that's not good <laughs> um Chapo, you could run him he's okay he's a good support but nothing too special okay that was a lot of uh, battles also the battles i'm running one last unit i got a rainbow recently she has 10k defense rainbowed she does also do universe 6 120 so you know there are a decent amount of universe 6 leaders. you some people don't really think about them she gets 6 percent attack and defense she seals she lowers attack she has a high chance of dodge she gives support good unit she creates rainbow orbs for kefla <laughs> that was a lot to talk about. I'm going to take a quick sip of water. And while you guys looked at my team. And let's get started. My Kefla is only 55% though. So she's not going to be like the best. Like, oh my gosh. So if I had to choose, I'd keep the front of rotation. What is that? Piccolo. Is this universe? Oh. <laughs> it seems like we're against universe 7 here. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, disgusting. Okay. Um, the Sectian. <laughs> the Sectian Shinhan. Let's attack you here. And we are gonna seal. We're gonna seal. Who's next? Um, both STR units. We're gonna seal Krillin. Um, yeah, we're gonna seal Krillin. Let's go for Krillin. <clears throat> like. No damage. Honestly, my no item this. Uh, I could have put Khalifa in the front slot, which I probably should have. But, you know what? I don't care. Oh, she actually takes a little damage. More than I thought. But look at this attack stat. 2.2 .2 million! <laughs> She's gonna demolish Tian. Ten Chen on. Because it's five enemies, so they have lower attack. HP. Yeah, look at that. Double super. Bam. Can we get that triple super, though? Let's see that triple super, uh, Cal. Let's see it. Let's go. She's attacking Piccolo. Look, look at this offensive power. Imagine if I Khalifa in the first slot and she just dodged everything. That too. Like, <laughs> that was actually a bad play on my part. Now you're going to attack Krillin. You also are going to get an additional attack because Kale's on rotation, which could be an additional super attack, which it is an additional super attack. You're stacking your attack and defense per super attack. And you can get a third super attack here, which you didn't, but you guarantee dodge. So who cares? 
And then Krillin's gonna get sealed, so who cares what your attack's gonna do? Nothing. And even then, battles could dodge. <laughs> Which he did. <laughs> Look at that. And then, ooh, you think your attacks matter still? No, because guess what? Khalifa's on the turn. So that means that Khalifa is... Kale's gonna basically guard everything you do, and who cares what you do? And then, bam. Oh, you think you're gonna attack? No, because I can get six orbs <laughs> and it makes our counter properly and then Khalifa at the end um she's gonna greatly basically greatly raise her defense <laughs> and look at that Kale's taking nothing bam after the super attack she's gonna continue taking nothing yeah <laughs> um this team is very strong as you can see L look at that just look at that there's no pure sands on the team so she's not gonna get her triple super but i mean well, okay, she did get a triple super from the potential system, but she's not going to get four supers. She could get four supers, which is pretty insane. Um, and, like, they're going to... She's going to super attack, but who cares? Look at this. Nothing. You're pathetic. <laughs> Only 60k in items. 2.1 million, you say? Oh, look at that. Kef Kefla. <sighs> These names... Are, I'm, I'm just having, like, an orgasm right now. <laughs> just... <laughs> I can't speak properly. Um, they're, they're so good. And she almost finished them. Oh, no, she didn't finish them off. Look at that. Look at you. Look at them. And she got that double super, which means that she raised her defense by 60% twice in the turn. And she dodged. So, it's like, this is insane. <laughs> this is really just insane. I'm going to be floating the Keflas, by the way. Um, because I feel like floating the Keflas, I think the damage reduction would be better. Mmm... Uh, no, actually, I'm gonna uh, do this. No, I want the K on rotation, so when the Khalifa comes back, she'll be super effective. Yeah, that's a smart move. We're gonna do this right here, dodge everything. We should be able to kill him. Um, that's for sure. We won't get six orbs. This is... No, this is six orbs. Okay. We did get the six orbs, so we're getting at the additional attack. Dodge. And you're dead. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, uh, we do... Her attack stat is lower because Vatos does support Universe 6. 20% attacking defense. Um, It does stack. I believe it's Universe 6, Rumble God, Siblings Bond, and Master and Student Bonds. Um, of course, the Count Kalifas are only on... Well, honestly, they... I mean, they should be on Siblings Bond, but they're not really siblings, so... But, I mean, I, I'd say you can make the excuse that they should be on Siblings Bond. Because Kel always is like, Onisan, 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 I love you. And, you know, shit like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> they should really be on that. Ooh. Great. That's very nice. Uh, but, I mean, like, uh, Caddy Wars are messed up, like I said. I actually finished recording the Time Travelers video um, right before this one. And Caddy Wars messed up. Wow. There's, like, so many enemies in these stages. That's actually crazy. I don't want to use an item, but it's going to be really fun to see um <laughs> just dodge all those so we're gonna do that we, I, I definitely you don't even need items for this stage um there's two ago opponent no we're gonna attack you bam we're gonna get rid of you yeah and who's next turn we have physical agl and tech you're gonna dodge you're gonna dodge you're not gonna dodge you have damage reduction so we're gonna seal i guess vegeta because you're going to dodge everything so it doesn't matter what int characters do you're going to basically dodge everything so it doesn't matter what tech characters do actually i'm gonna seal you just in case because there's a good chance that vegeta's dead here because there's pure saiyans and universe survival saga on the team so she's gonna she can get four super attacks and then kefla has her full passive yeah he's dead so it's good that i still gohan because then we can cover that age of Khalifa, like, hey, she doesn't dodge, which she only has a great chance. Look at that damage, guys. <laughs> Look at her go. We didn't even need to use the item, honestly. I'm, I'm being completely honest. The item was so unnecessary, but I just want to flex on that. I just want to do a whole flex. She did get four attacks. The last one was not a super attack, unfortunately. But four attacks is insane. Imagine if we brought LRK and Khalifa in here. <laughs> that, would, that would be so crazy. Like, imagine all the super attacks that we'd be doing. She also is lowering his attack as well. So, obviously, we're going to have you in the front slot. We're going to have you in the last slot. And we're going to get all this dodge going on here. We're going to attack Frieza with you. We're going to attack 17 with you. 
and we're gonna keep attacking 17 with you and that should be good honestly and guarantee dodge who cares what you're doing like does not matter at all look at all these attacks just nothing nothing you are pathetic frieza you suck cooler's better look at you you're so pathetic fucking revive from the dead for what nothing <laughs> triple super attack yeah i get fucked frieza oh uh, this team is so fun to use every single time i just have so much fun with this team this oh you think you're gonna do shit no <laughs> no like why is this team so broken <laughs> what what are they thinking with these units i mean there's teams like fucking other world warriors like look at other world warriors and tell me that's a good category team and then come back to universe six which is basically the same idea a small category which would have a lot of good options like universe six but no a look at special pose so buffing it with free to play units and look at these why are they the what it's like so weird. This category didn't even really need to be buffs. Kefla was already super good. The Awakenings were already really good. And then they made these easy A's and saying, what is going on in their minds? Look, this is a triple STR rotation, but I don't care. We're going to kill. See, they're dead. It does not matter. They're dead. And is this six orbs? This is six orbs as well. And then guess what? This is also six orbs. So this kill is actually not going to guard. So I was actually a little bit of damage. Um, I'm actually a little scared. <laughs> I actually could technically die here. Uh, I didn't think. I forgot there's no Khalifa on rotation. Remember, you have to have a Khalifa on rotation for her to actually dodge. But she's going to raise the defense three times. So it doesn't matter. And then the Keflas have a 50% chance to dodge. So she gets crits here. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. And she got the quad super, so she's also attacking Goku here. The Keflas are going to attack Goku as well. And the last one active is Gohan. And she got a crit at the end there. Double digits. Look at that. And then <laughs> 2.6 million. <laughs> and if she gets an additional super, this friend has one dupe. If she gets an additional super, it's over. It's already over. It doesn't matter. And she dodges Gohan. Oh, no. He's still alive? Why are you still alive? It doesn't matter. You're dead. Look, almost 2 million for double links. <laughs> And keep in mind, I think the friend has level 1 links, so, I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, this team is actually it's really stupid. It's really dumb. I'm actually going to get these in orbs with battles to heal some HP. And we're going to be moving on. Yeah, I was told this stage is easy. This stage is just a joke. Just like, <sighs> they put five enemies in every stage with so much HP. But it doesn't matter because they're all Universe Survival Saga. Which, I mean, honestly, if they didn't make a Universe Survival Saga, then there would have been no point giving these Kao and Khalifas these passives where they're good against Pure Saiyans or Universe Survival Saga enemies. It would have been just stupid. Um, this last one actually has Beerus. So Beerus is not in the category. Neither is Whis. Okay. So this stage right here, I'm not, I don't have to use an item here. We're going to go ahead and take care of Whis first. We're going to give you these orbs, and Khalifa is actually going to heal a lot here. Um, well, not too much, because he, has he hasn't raised her defense yet. After this, Kale should take the budget. It's uh, this not going to do anything. Uh, even if Beer supers us, we shouldn't die. We should still have enough HP and defense to survive a Beer super attack. Yeah, well, I don't know about that. If, if Kefla gets supered, we could die, and that'd be really funny. <laughs> that would be really funny, actually. Um, but if he supers Khalifa, we should be okay. Remember, Kevla does also have the 50% chance to dodge as well, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, Beerus. Okay, I just need this Khalifa to dodge, and I probably will heal next turn, because I don't want to die, obviously. Like, it's nice flexing, but I don't want to die. Yeah, she dodged anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, you still have a very, very high chance to dodge. But since I'm gonna use you, I'm gonna put you in the, I'm gonna put you in the first slots. Oh well, cause you do have sixty percent damage reduction, so we're gonna actually have you attack him. We're gonna have you attack him, and this is also six orbs in it. Yeah, the six orbs are here. Wow, and we're gonna we're very close to a Dokken attack, so we might get the Dokken attack against Beerus and just destroy him. Um, we honestly, there's so many good SDR units. I mean, I guess um, it's good that they didn't put, like, Universe 7 or Universe 12 song units at the end. 
they knew what they were doing because they didn't want to make it a complete joke, I'd say, but <laughs> it's still a complete joke. Look look at what Kel's doing. Easy A's are so good. I, I absolutely love Easy A's. Look, this is going to do like under 100K. <laughs> That's an understatement. We did have the item, but uh, this is going to do actually just damage. Yeah, we did have the item, but I mean, if we're at full health with no items, Kel would have taken like 60k from Beerus and probably like 120k or so from Whis. Uh, again, the damage reduction is super high. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's honestly nothing really else to say about the team. They, the super good offensively, super good defensively. They cover every single role that you would need to cover on a good team. They're just powerful, and Kefla is the perfect leader for this team too. Um. From what I would personally say, Kefla is probably the best leader for this team. I'm going to put Kale uh, Kefla in the first slot right here. Look at their defense stats. I mean, oh, we have the item. Uh, don't get too cocky, Minato. We have the item up. But <laughs> that's insane. And, I mean, I don't care if battles could miss the super or not. Dodge. Yeah, look at that. And let's see what she does. Again. Oof, 3 million. <laughs> uh, no offense, by the way. No offensive items. No super sane. Um, no fuse fighter, no freaking power bestowed by God. That's, that's crazy. She might actually have pretty good link levels, actually. I, I didn't personally check. Look at all those dodges, too. It's like, ugh, <laughs> like a 50% chance of dodge is so good. I mean, six orbs are required, but still. Ooh, actually, he survived. Doesn't matter. No damage. Uh, Whis is alive. Huh, surprise. Uh, we dodged anyway, so, I mean, who cares? And we should finish off with the Dokkan attack here. I'm going to let this Khalifa get the Dokkan attack. Yeah, I'm going to let this Khalifa get the Dokkan attack. I kept pushing her off rotation. She didn't, get, she didn't really get a good showcase. ADK defense, not bad. Um, Whis is not going to super, so it doesn't really matter. And she's also super effective, which, you know, will be very helpful in a Dokkan attack. Kel, if she gets a actual crit, she'll do more damage. But on the Dokkan attack, if Kale doesn't get a crit, Khalifa will do more damage, even with the lower attack stat, because, again, super effective is really good. <laughs> um, it's like these guys dodge, additional attack, super, like, are super effective. The counter super attacks, the uh, Vat of Seals, lower attack. Like, what, what else could you really ask for in a team, honestly? Uh, damage reduction from the scales, like... Yeah, um, just the sheer power. It's crazy. I mean, this is the universe six stage. Piss easy. <laughs> Nothing else to say. We just walked in and slapped them. Like, just Kefla came in, Kale came in, Kalitha came in, just smacked their monster cock on their face, basically. I mean, that would probably be like a the truth type quote or something, but that's basically what happened. <laughs> this team, I love running this team. Every opportunity I get, I definitely run it fun so let me know what you guys think about the universe 6 team if you have it on global how are you enjoying it thank you guys so much for watching till the end like share subscribe if you enjoyed the video and i will see you all in the next one